Robert Boris Turpin was born in 1953 in Dimnil, in the southwest of Western Australia. His works are inspired by life, beauty, and nature. He creates marvelous compositions with elements of abstract impressionism, expressionism, and surrealism. In 1984, Robert fell ill, which resulted in him being on a wheelchair from 1997 up to the present time. Robert graduated in visual arts with a painting specialization. He has a degree in French from Edith Crown University in Perth and a visual arts degree from UniSA in Adelaide. He has been featured in various exhibitions and international publications. Robert's career is a testimony of perseverance, commitment, and the power of inspiration. In this interview, he welcomes us to his studio and talks to us art to heart. Welcome to Art to Heart. What we do is connect with the artists in a way that the public gets to see and hear from you directly. Sure. Connecting from the heart to the art, you know? Okay, that's good. Yeah. So talk to, us, <laughs> talk to us a little bit about your work and, uh, and your background for those okay. who don't know you. <laughs> All right. I, I studied graphic design back in 1970. I've always had a love for art since I was a child because I grew up in the forest down south in West Australia and um, when I fell sick on that I just rediscovered myself as an artist mm, and okay. to, me, to me it's my lifeline, it's what keeps me going, um, something I really enjoy. Um, I, who was I inspired by? Gee, a lot of artists, surrealists. Uh, the American abstract expressionists, um, you know, and I suppose my work is a mixture of abstract impression and surrealism. So um, I, I'm not very happy with tags. I don't know how to tag my work. It's, it's all emotional. You try to get that out of your head onto the canvas. It's not easy. <laughs> you just you do what you do. And a lot of times, my work is very unpredictable. Okay. Except for the, did she show you the tree paintings? Yes, she did. She did, and she showed me the yeah. works, the, the the one in progress, the one you're doing now. Oh, that one, yeah. That's I I painted over that four times. Well, I started that one when I was doing my I was artist in residence at the Perth Institute of Contemporary Art, and we painted over it four times. I wasn't happy with it, but it's slowly coming together. You know, um, gee, how do I describe my what inspires me? Um, everything, okay. including women. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah. Yeah, beauty. That's right. You got it. Yeah. And you know, having grown up in the forest, that was my major influence. You know, and I travelled around Australia. I was an original backpacker. I think. I've lived in New Zealand. You know, I've travelled the world. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, yes, I have questions. I have questions. So, um, this, uh, I think this, we are living in a time where people are searching for inspiration and actually our, our artists and the, the stories behind us and the challenges that we survive and that we go through on, on our daily basis are actually a source of inspiration. So it, yeah, look, uh, I, you are a great inspiration for me. And, oh, thank and you. I, I read your story. You are an incredible inspiration, and I want to share that with you know with the people who are out there uh, looking for a push yeah. or you know just a, a word of inspiration. What what can you say to us? Never give up. Whether you're in a wheelchair or not, you never give up. Exactly. You know, just, and don't be scared of changing dreams. It just might come true. You exactly. know. Exactly. But like um. I, I went into the wheelchair when I was 1997 and I went through a lot of, lot of emotional and physical pain mm. and I managed to drag myself out of it, you know? Yeah. You have to, you have, you have to face it front on, head on and actually accept it, otherwise you'll feel sorry for yourself. I don't want to be feel sorry for myself, you know, but um, and I had an accident a couple of years ago, I fell down some stairs after a rock concert in my wheelchair and I 
broke my neck, neck and fractured my skull and I died three times and I lost the vision of my left eye and that coma and but I come out of it, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, you, you got to fight, I'm a fighter, that's it. Yes. You know? Yes. And you work, and you work, you keep going, you keep working and creating this marvelous oh, work. Work. All the time, all the time. Yeah, I love life, I love living. You know? Wonderful. And then you can, tell. you can tell that by looking at your works. And uh, you're in love with color. Uh, I, I love color, I love color. Some yeah. people say, what do you use so much color for? Because I love it. Yes. So it's all about, you know, you've got to be honest to yourself, honest with yourself with the your art, and you know, what you are doing, um, and don't be scared, you know. People are scared. Well, they say to me, I can't do that. Of course, anyone can do it, okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to apply yourself and don't be scared. That's it. That's all I can say. Don't be scared. Don't give up. And all that bad stuff. <laughs> right. You think that, um, I don't know, I've been reading this, this week one of the, um, a book that I was reading, and it, it speaks about being, being scared of being happy, being scared of uh, fulfilling our dreams. Um, that's something yeah, that, fear, that's real, yeah. Fear and doubt controls most people's lives, you know. I yes. think <clears throat> when they're young, they have a lot of potential. Everyone's got potential. But as they get older, sort of, that disappears sometimes. When they, you know, they get married, have children, or they chase a career. Yes. And if they were good at singing or painting or whatever, it's sort of, it's put to one side, and that's what happened to me. Mm. Then I realised my love for art, you know, when I, after I got the wheelchair, I said, gee, I've got to do something. Because I, I graduated from university three times, you know. I, I did a counselling course in, in drug addiction, then I thought, well, I can do better than this. So I did, I did French major and journalism minor at, at university. I started here in Perth, then I graduated in Adelaide. I came back to Perth after my mother passed away, and I did a post-grad diploma. So since then, you know, I haven't looked back. Wow. People tell me they love my work here, you know? Yes, absolutely. And sometimes challenges actually do a pain. We do it, we go inside of us, and, and that's why art comes out, you know? Mm. Yeah, um, that's why they do art therapy courses. Yeah. So people can release their emotions and not be scared, you know? Exactly. And that, that's how you grow up, you're surrounded by, you know? Different exactly. influences. Am I getting too seriously? Or and um, any series that you're working on specifically, uh, the new works that I saw, is that part of a series? Are you working on a specific subject? Well, I used to drive my lectures crazy. Because I chop and change all the time. If I, <laughs> I do a painting, I, I don't copy that theme, I just stick to one painting. Okay. And the next, next, next one's completely different. People get too conventional. You know, I, I don't like that. Like, that's why I buy, like, Jackson Pollock. Yes. Yeah, he's just let it go, you know what I mean? Mm. <coughs> yeah. I was watching a documentary on Francis Bacon, and um, they asked him, he said, do, do you do this on purpose? Do you predict this? No, I can't predict it. It just comes out the way it comes out, you know? I don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. Uh, I like that sort of that spontaneity. I like that, you know? Yes. And, and not, not be scared to try something, you know? Like the impression. The French Impressionists, when they did something completely different, I mean, they got ridiculed, but they, they stuck close to their heart, mm. you know. A little did they know their paintings are worth a lot of money now, but you know, they just did it as a group and they inspired each other. Exactly. <laughs> That's very important. Exactly. I think, I think exactly. artists need to inspire each other. Yes. Don't, not get jealous or, jealous or petty, but you know, inspiration is a great thing. Yes, and I think when we're inspired, we're not jealous because we we kind of find beauty in everybody else's artwork. You know, it's it's really inspiring if you think about it. Just like uh, sharing my moment with you right now is it's uh, inspiring me. You know, and hearing, you have all these lessons, <laughs> all these lessons in life that I'm learning in this few minutes. It's uh, yeah, uh, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot. I mean, I get at university, I'm, I'm sure I drive crazy. I, I'm not a very, I don't like to get too academic on something because, mm. because they can't really explain, they can explain it to a point. 
And after that, you can't explain it. You don't know what the artist was thinking. Yes. You know? Yes. He or she. She just did it, or he just did it, to, um, it's very subjective, you know. Yes. You can't, yeah, you can't describe what people are thinking, you just do it. That's why I like those artists, you know, same with Dali, that's right. Salvador Love Dali, Salvador Dali. Yeah, 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 and Picasso. He was right. wild. <laughs> yeah, but he did, he was true to his heart. You know when an artist is true to themselves, right? Otherwise, all they're going to do is just regurgitate same old stuff. And I don't, I don't see any point in that. I'm, mm. I'm not into really painting pretty little pictures, you know. I can't do that. Mm. Because if I start something, I don't know how it's going to turn out. You know? Exactly, exactly. I don't want to take more of your time, but I appreciate so no. much your time. And, and Very much. being open to share with us, I appreciate. you know. If you have time, oh, write a right. book, and uh, it will be very inspiring for us. <laughs> that's what everyone says. Write the bloody book. You know, sorry, I swore. You write the to, book. Yes, you need to write the bloody book. That's <laughs> <laughs> fun. Australian. Bloody yeah. hell. Yeah. Yes. Right. Thanks and, a lot, um, Let's share. I'm going to share your website uh, with our public that are watching. Uh, they're going to be watching this interview because I want them to visit your website and discover more of yeah. you. Thanks, Viviana. Thank you so much, Robert. Thanks so yeah. much. And, uh, and I am so happy to you know, bring your works and on the digital exhibition at the Red Dot Fair and being able to publish you in the magazine. It's, it's an honor. Uh, I really appreciate you trusting yeah. us with your works. No problem. Um, is the magazine electronic or hard copy? Or it's paper? got. You're gonna get. Uh, it's hard copy, and it's distributed in all the Barnes and Nobles in the United States. Uh, it's also distributed in Canada to Magnali and Robinson, and you can order online. We're gonna send you to Australia. You're gonna get oh. copies of the magazine. And, wow. Uh, and, and the public can actually order if they want to order online. You know, people that want to buy okay. the magazine, they can order online. And we are interviewing oh. the artists and publishing the interviews to the artists as well, oh. so people can get to hear from the artists directly. You know. How, how embarrassing for me! I'm mean, dead. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, no. God. No, it's very inspiring. And actually, uh, people who are watching the Art to Heart interviews, it's all about that. You know, it's all about inspiration and getting to see because we have some incredible stories. Uh, people don't know sometimes what the artist goes through, you know, and, and the journey no. behind the journey yeah. behind the creation of the artworks, you know. That that hey. is really great to share. Uh, th thanks for your kind words. And hello everybody who's ever listening. Okay. Yes. Hello the hello world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank thanks, Viviana. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. Ciao. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ciao. If you're an artist and would like to participate in our Art to Heart interviews, feel free to contact me at info at arttointernational.com and share your story of inspiration. The wonderful world of the arts awaits for you here at Art to Heart. See you soon.